You might think of DJI as just a drone maker, but it's been making its own cameras for years, both for its drones and the Osmo line of stabilized cameras like the Osmo Pocket. Now it's going full on into the action cam market with the Osmo Action, and yes, it looks a lot like a GoPro. With a double tap of two fingers on the rear touchscreen, it turns on that front screen so you can get a look at what the camera sees from the front and some shooting info as well. Or you can long press on this button on the side or just say screen switch because it has voice commands too. Screen switch. But before I get into that, let's go back to this button. It's called quick switch and lets you switch between the camera's modes. You can pick and choose which ones you want quick access to, and you can also make your own group of custom settings to keep in there. There's plenty of shooting options too, like 12 megapixel photos in JPEG and RAW, time-lapse photos, video capture at up to 4K at 60 frames per second, and high dynamic range video in 4K at 30 frames per second, which is definitely nice to have since these small sensor cameras struggle with extreme lighting and the HDR helps with blown out highlights and shadow details. HDR doesn't work with the camera's rock steady electronic image stabilization though, which is disappointing because the stabilization is stellar. Here's a clip of it in use with the camera mounted to the handles of an electric scooter. There's still some shake, but nothing compared to what it looks like with it turned off, which is completely unwatchable. It's really amazing how good it is and matches up well against GoPro stabilization. And if you like slow motion, the Osmo can handle 8x or 4x slow motion at 1080p if you want the camera to handle the processing. Or you can set it up to shoot at up to 240 frames per second and slow it down after you shoot. All of these things can be controlled on camera or you can pair it with your phone and do it all from there. And that includes transferring clips for playback, editing and sharing. And if your hands are tied up, the Osmo Action has a handful of voice commands programmed in, so you can do things like start and stop recordings, take a snapshot, or again, switch from the back screen to the front screen and back again. Take photo. Screen switch. It's a rugged little camera too that's waterproof without a housing down to 11 meters or 60 meters with a housing and its frame uses a standard two-prong GoPro mount, so you've got a lot of accessories immediately available. Plus, DJI will have some of its own, including an external mic adapter and lens filters. The Osmo Action is shipping now for $350, and that's certainly competitive with the $400 Hero 7 Black, but then again, the GoPro offers a bit more. I certainly wouldn't count the Osmo Action out though. You're getting a lot of camera here for the money, including a couple unique features. And DJI will no doubt keep adding features and improving quality with software updates.